hello, my hearties. There you are, dinky doo. It's just me, Scotty McLuhan. We are, of course, live on the big one. TikTok Live, Sunday night. Nothing gets past me. And it's Easter Sunday. Again, nothing gets past me, you see. So a very, very happy Easter to you. I hope you've had a nice weekend. I know we're all in lockdown, and it's very, very difficult to do anything real fun. But, of course, we make up for it by watching Scotty McLean on TikTok Live. How good is that? So tell everybody about it. Is Eddie Doyle joining us? Excellent, Eddie. Lovely to have you with us. Love Tweed. Thank you, Keir. We like a bit of Tweed on here as well. Very, very important. So there you go. Good to have you with us. I mustn't sit too close. You know what the kind of person you're talking to and no matter how good something is, they've always got a wee bit criticism. So, you know, what you do, sometimes you'll meet people and they'll say, oh, your, your live thing's awfully good. Awfully good. If if anything, if I, if, if I had to criticise anything. I would say you were a wee bit close to the camera. That sort of stuff. So that's it. Have you got a barber to go with that? Of course I have. I was one of your first people wearing barber dinky do the new, says Eddie. Real men wear tweed. Of course they do. Barber jacket very, very good for the rain. Uh, have a lovely one. Thank you. I hope you have Helen. Thank you. Yes, indeed. A lovely, lovely day. I love a barber. Very, very good. The wax jacket and I've got the wax um, mine is very, very old now. I think I've been wearing it for 26 years. That's not bad, is it? Scotty, Dinky too. How are you? Lovely to have you with us. We thought we'd do a wee pop-up. And guys, remember any trolling, any silliness, life time ban. All right. Follow me as soon as you come on, please. We're very, very short of followers. Scotty, when are you going back on the radio? Anthony, your guess is as good as mine. I think everything's been held up with COVID. That's the big problem at the moment. But we are doing our best to get back on the radio just for you to say dinky do. Fantastic. So there we are. Did you have a nice Easter, Scotty? I did. I had a lovely, lovely Easter. Do you like Nicola Sturgeon? Well, if you mean as the First Minister of Scotland, she's quite exceptional. So there we are, dinky do. Uh, Mommy will not be saying any rubbish. So there you go. A uh, wonderful Easter. Hello, Scotty. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Luan, it's absolutely been incredible. The TikToks have been absolutely amazing. Emily, stop telling fibs. So there we are. Scotty, you're a personal hero, says Daza. Daza, I thank you for that. So who have we got here? Hold on. Can you give a shout out at Dumbrick? Oh, yes. Happy Easter, Scotty. Thank you. Hope you have a great day. Garth says, dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny. Scotty McClue wants exactly. Guys, have you followed me? As soon as you come on, get following. Follow me. Very important. We've got lots and lots of viewers, but not everybody remembers to follow. Please do get following. What have we got here? Let's see. I can see I've got some permissions. I can see if you followed me. So there we are. I'm just going to check who's followed and who hasn't. Tot, 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 tot. So there we are. Right. I've got that there. I'm now going to check. I'm checking. There we are. Right. We need lots and lots of followers. When will you be back in St. Andrews, a lovely part of the world, Daniel? I can tell you that. There we are. Iron Brew, yes, you're right, lad. Absolutely. Hello, Scotty, you're some man. Savannah, if you don't stop with the nonsense, it'll be a... A bye-bye. There we are. Oh, yes, Nathan. We have to keep everything going here, you know. Happy Easter, Scotty, and to all, says the wonderful Louise Cross. I don't think she's ever cross. I think she's a lovely, lovely person. There we are. What's your favorite One Direction song? I know where I'm going. There we are. And it's only in one direction, of course. Excuse me, what are your pronouns? We never, ever, ever ask pronouns on here, Freya, because we're all inclusive, you see. Dinky Doo from Uddingston. We love Uddingston. Nicky McHugh, what are you doing, you generous, generous, generous person? 
What a lovely, lovely thing to do. Very naughty of you. Hang on to your pennies. Nicky McHugh, guys, is stocking, stacking, not stocking, stacking Scotty McClue with huge diamonds. There we are on TikTok. There we are. What's your degree in? It's in uh, arts, dramatic art. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. Why is there old men on my life? I do not know. You need to watch about that. I've never seen any old men on TikTok, so I wouldn't know. Maybe it's, uh, it's something you've said to them. Uh, Scotty, you're a legend. Uh, do you remember me, mate? Of course I do. I remember you very, very well indeed. I'm not too impressed with your handle, though. So what I'll do is I think we'll just uh, dump you. <laughs> Guys, remember any inappropriate handles, and it's bye-bye. There we go. Hey, up, Scotty, from Steel City. Hey, Christian. Hey, up, la. Fantastic. Did you get an Easter eggs as given? I got several Easter eggs. So there we are. Nicky McHugh, thank you so much. You are so generous for not stocking, but stocking. Stocking up with diamonds on Scotty McHugh. It's so kind of you. There we are. Thanks, Scotty. Not at all, Louise. What is your job? Christian James, what are you sending me TikToks? What is your job? My job is to see that every single one of you is happy and none of you will go away dissatisfied from my live uh, talks here on TikTok. Uh, thank you, Nikki. That's very, very kind of you. There we are. You out of still game. I was never in still game TikToker, but they say I may have been the inspiration for still game in the first place. Accrington says Eric, Eric the Viking from Accrington. Hello from India, says Rakes. Rakes, what part of India are you in? Lovely to have you with us. There we are. Excellent, excellent stuff. Scotty, can you recommend an electricity supplier? Well, I've just changed my energy supplier. I'm on another fizzy drink, you see. Love your bonnet. So there you are. Did you get an Easter egg? I got several. There's Daniel asking, what do you think of abortion? Ter termination of pregnancy is a very very difficult decision for people, and I would rather people didn't get into that situation in the first place. However, if they are in the situation, then all I can say is it's their decision and not anyone else's business, because termination of pregnancy, uh, you know, unless it's for very high medical reasons, is Hobson's choice. Do you know what Hobson's choice is? No choice. You know, so there we are. Uh, Dinky do, nice man, I thank you very much. Christian, thank you, that's very, very kind of you. Get this man on the radio, says Michael. Yes, Michael, I think I should be live right now on the BBC nationally and internationally. So maybe something like, I don't know, the World Service, you know, public service broadcasting and proper talk. They were fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Uh, why do women talk so much and men think too much? So there we are. Well, I don't know, Alfie. I'll have a think about that. Hello, I'm a pilot for Lufthansa in Germany. I have watched a video of Lufthansa 454 landing at San Francisco Airport, the Golden Gate Bridge, and uh, landing there, and I love it. I've actually shown it to students for how calm professionals are in a stressful situation. The captain and his crew are outstanding. I'm trying to remember how many of them there are. There might be four of them. And just as he's landing, he goes on to the intercom, to the passengers to say, uh, to your left, you will see the Golden Gate Bridge. And then they touch down and he says, 
Thank you, Tara. Uh, we have no problems, nothing to report. Wonderful stuff. There we are. And it is just so cool. So, guys, if you have a chance, get on to YouTube and watch Lufthansa 454. And uh, you will know all about it, Heathrow. There we are, because you might even have been in it. I don't know. I'm from Poland. Welcome from Poland. We love to have you with us live on the world's top talk show, live on TikTok. There we are. Hello, Scotty, again. How many eggs have you had? Karim, I'll be absolutely honest with you. I think there might have been about maybe even as many as 50 or 60, a lot of them wee minis. But it's just so lovely to have them, I say. Thank you, Karim, for sending pennies. You are so very, very kind. Zop Dinosaur. Right, you local. So you are a Zop Dinosaur. Michael Young, that's very, very generous of you. Michael Young is putting in an alley Welsh. What are you doing? Oh, you generous people. There we are. Scotty, do you like eating cheese? I do, but I have a slight cheese intolerance, and it can upset my balance. So there we are. Michael Young, what are you like? That is so generous, sending all these things. Please do not bankrupt yourself for a Scotty McClue live. There we are. The only dinosaur I knew was the one-eyed one. That's the uh, the Jathinkisaurus. Yes, that's the one. Uh, yes, so what particular cheese are we talking? Camembert? You know, Edam? So there we are. Scotty, can you tell us about Richard the Lionheart? King Richard. Yes, of course. But you can look him up. Michael Young, what are you doing? 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 times TikTok, Michael Young, for goodness sake. Guys, how do you do that? How do you give me things? I don't know enough about how you send TikToks. So there we are. Please do tell me. Can I get a badge? I only have the one, Michael. Scotty McClure. Dinky too. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Michael Young, what are you doing? Michael Young is sending more TikToks. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Stop! He's sending more. Michael Young. How do, 40, 45. Right, right, that's enough, Michael Young. My goodness, we stop. Guys, the generosity on here is overwhelming. 60, he's just sent another 60 TikToks. Oh, my goodness me. MST, Celtic or Rangers? MST, my advice to you would be to go and see them both play and then make a decision. You know, guys, can you follow me? We must get followers. We're so short. We've been doing this for three weeks now. And the followers are um, less than 7,000. Now, that should be 70,000 by now, because well over half a million have seen the TikToks. So if, half, if everybody that saw the TikTok followed me, then we would have half a million followers. Michael Young, stop. He's doing it again. Stop. Oh, he's so generous. What's your best memories of growing up, Scotty? Oh, Louise, I have so many lovely, lovely memories of growing up, playing in the street in the summertime. When I was a little boy, I went out on my tricycle. You could do that. Little ones could do that in these days. And I remember looking along the street, Michael, stop, Michael, stop. He's done a hundred. Stop, stop, please. There we are. What's on your wall, lad? Me. There's Lord Reith the Labrador. What a beautiful dog he was, I can tell you. So I remember looking along in a summer's night and in amongst these trees was a huge old mansion. And do you know that mansion, the man that owned it was a shipbuilder, very famous shipbuilder, and he died in 1939. 
I think he was only in his 60s. And the mansion was used for different purposes during the Second World War. And I think by this time it was emptied. Now, that house and garden were cleared around 1959-1960 to make way for a whole school. A whole school was built in the garden of one house, which used to house one man. <laughs> a massive, massive Victorian mansion built about 1864. And it had a sister house on, I think, the Roseneath Peninsula, and it had a conservatory. And when that house was demolished, it was the same architect, when that house was demolished, the conservatory was taken to Glasgow and is now the plant house for Glasgow's Botanic Gardens. Woo! How amazing is that? Dinky do, Scotty. Hi, I'm from Wales. What do you think of Meghan Markle? Well, I'm not too impressed with that interview. I'll tell you that for starters. So there we are. Um, I don't think you join a family like our royal family and then start dumping on them. You know what I mean? You know, when they've been kind enough to have you in. Uh, women are chatterboxes. Men are nerds. These aren't very positive things. You know, talking is a positive. Celtic are interested. In, go and see them both play, Daniel. Make your mind up. I just finished watching The Life of Brian, as is my Easter tradition. Ooh, that film. It is actually a super film, but it costs such a stushy. And I can remember, I think it was an archbishop and Malcolm Muggeridge. Do you remember, anybody remember Malcolm Muggeridge? Very big on BBC Talks. When are you back on the radio, Scotty? Eh? Um, I don't know, Nathan. I think everything's been held up with COVID. Guys, can you all follow me? Now, here we go. Let me check who's followed and who hasn't. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Right, here we got here. I'm just saying who's followed us, guys. Feeble, what are you doing? Very, very kind and generous. There we are. It takes a little while just for this to load up. But I can tell who's followed us. Uh, guys, can you also like? We need some likes as well. Sometimes I think people get a bit internet weary. So they don't actually uh, give you the follows and the likes. King Arthur, the ruler of Scotland. I don't think Arthur ruled Scotland. So there, there's somebody saying, can you block my other account? Sarah, I'll have a look at how you do it, but you need to behave, you and your pals. Ali Welsh, thank you for your kindnesses. Uh, Scotty, I've just had one egg. Trying to be good, Karim. Karim, you'll be looking after your figure because you are a very, very, very fit gentleman. You are the king of Scotland, Scotty McClure. Thank you, like eating cheese. Have you ever been to Luss in Loch Lomond? I know Luss like the back of my hand. What's now the clubhouse of the Loch Lomond Golf Club was Ross Do House, which was the home of the Cahoons of Luss, the Cahoon family. And the road over to Helensburgh was up there. And that Helensburgh was called after Helen Cahoon of Luss. What about that? Could you say get well soon to my mate Ed? COVID, yes, I can. Thank you guys for all your lovely generosity. Hi from the Philippines, says Marie. Marie, it's so lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome from the Philippines. Have you ever been to Bournemouth? Do you know, Fat, that's something I've denied myself, and I believe it's beautiful. And apparently there's a place called Sandbanks that has very, very swish houses. There we go. Uh, guys, thank you for all your lovely, lovely roses and your TikToks and all these things. So kind of you. Uh, so there we are. Due to being too handsome, <laughs> you'll be temporarily banned on a lot of nonsense. 
There we are, people making up accounts. Do be careful, though, guys, because somebody was making up an official-looking account and they would have been done if they'd been caught. There we are. Hello, mate. How are you? We're very well, Joris. Thank you very much for joining us and dinky-doo. Guys, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and the world's top TikToker talk show. We are live on TikTok just for you. I would say TikTok suits Scotty McClue. Don't you think so? What do you reckon? Lovely blue eyes. You're very, very kind. I thank you. Hey, I don't know you, but you have a great day. Mina, you know us now because it's Scotty McClure. Dinky doo, can you all follow me, guys? Jesus loves you. Turn to him and believe in the Son of God and repent. Well, Samuel, I don't need to repent because I've never sinned, but um, I've, I've always turned to Jesus. Absolutely not a problem. There we are. Uh, look at these people going on a lot of nonsense. Do you like money, money, money? You know, the interesting thing is, Lou, I'm not a greedy person. And I've never, ever been a greedy person. Otherwise, I would have a lot more money than I have. I am one of the richest men in the world. I just don't have any money. But even getting to talk to you guys is such a privilege. You see, the only true wealth is life. And I've always done every job I've done in my life because I've loved the job, not for the money. The money helps, of course, to buy your, your groceries and all that stuff. So there we go. Sarah says, can you scream at potato? No, but I did have a dish that was screaming potato at me. A potato hash, we call it. Uh, so there we go. Uh, Michael is, get a job at the well played, sir. There we go. Now, who have we got here? Uh, can you follow us, guys? Following, following, following. Shar, Shar, you need to seriously grow up and ask yourself, is that the very best you can do when you're on the world's top TikTok talk show? Hmm? Is that the best you can do, Shah? Do you seriously have an IQ of one? Or can you grow up and do better? Dinky do, says Alistair, dinky do. Up the greens. Yes, you need your greens. I had some sprouts today. Very, very nice. It's your Auntie Shirley here. I can't wait to see you. Dinky do, Auntie Shirley. What a nice person. King Arthur of Scotland, dinky do. Now then, would you rather be paid in TikToks or Vietnamese dongs. I don't actually know the exchange rate for the Vietnamese dong, but anything that people are giving me is so kind. Guys, follow me, please. Share this broadcast. Do lots of likes. Let's see, you know, if it's too strenuous to click follow. Also, could you click like? There we are. Let's see if anybody's following us. A few. We need a lot more people following, and we need a lot more likes, guys. What are we doing here? You know what I mean? Scotty McClure is used to big, 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 big figures. Do you like Formula One? I like what it does, but I don't think I could watch it all the time. So there we are. Dinky do. Thank you. Somebody sent me sunglasses. Okay, the new. Michael Young, what have you done? Michael Young has sent 100 TikToks. Michael, that's a very, 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 very generous. So there we are. Uh, was Bad King John even that bad? Well, it depends what he did. I'll tell you who was a very bad man was King William. He was very bad. Laura. What are you doing? Laura sees sending TikToks. Uh, Scotty, oh yes. Uh, is your dog named after the general manager for the BBC? Susan Smith, you are 100% correct. Have you heard me say this before? Or do you just know the story? Lord Reith was the general manager for the BBC. John Reith, yes. 
There were four of them on the staff in 1922. I love you, says um, Baclar. Baclar, thank you so much. What do you smell like? Well, I've been told I smell gorgeous. I don't really know what that means or how do you define gorgeous, you know? People say, Scotty, you smell gorgeous. I say, well, it's just my natural smell. Do you not get a sore head talking like that all day? Uh, talking like what, Andy? We're just talking. There are, what do you think of Pete Price? Lovely man, known Peter for years. Mr. Liverpool, absolutely. Just a reminder that King Edward VIII abdicated in 1936. He did, but he was accepted. And this, you know, is interesting for setting the precedent for Prince Harry. Edward VIII was uh, a field marshal uh, and a head of the British forces all the rest of his life. So there you are. He was still a field marshal. Uh, now, who have we got here? Uh, somebody says, please convert to Islam, brother. It's a religion where you... What have we got here? What's that? It's a religion where you... It's gone. It's gone. That's gone. So there we are. Don't know what that was about. Uh, hi, Scotty. Do you remember me from yesterday? How's your Easter going? Are you having a nice day? We are. Dinky do. A big shout out to us in... Sea Mill. Do you know, I was thinking about Sea Mill last week. I used to enjoy going down to Sea Mill. It was regarded as very swish. <laughs> How's your Easter going? Have a nice day. Uh, what do you think of my username? Quite interesting. I've never seen one of these. Can you say hi to Loch Lomond Loch? So there we are. Yes. We give me a fact about Brighton. The train that used to go to Brighton was an electrified service leaving at, I think, 10.30 at night, and it took the theatre people who lived down there, and uh, it was known as the Brighton Bell. Am I correct? There we are. How about that? Uh, now, there we go. Who have we got here? Are you a Marxist? Well, what does a Marxist look and sound like? So there we are, Karl Marx. Can't understand what language is that? Is it English? It's a kind of English best, but if you're not very well traveled or you're not very bright, you may struggle with it, you know, but we will give you as much help as we possibly can. So there you go. Uh, do you brush your hair? Yes, several times, Neve, to keep it shiny. I, I sit and brush my hair in the mirror at night till it shines. I have to cover the mirror sometimes because the doctor said I've not to get a shock. Uh, can you shout out to my son, Ben, please? I can, Sonia. There we are. Do you realize you sound like Donald, Donald from Benidorm? Um, well, I only realize because maybe a thousand people have said it on here. Neve thinks he's bald. No, not bald. Uh, hello, mate. Do you like Peaky Blinders? Yes. Um, do you toast them? I'm never sure. Uh, so there you are. So uh, who's this? Bex, you need to go and grow up. Uh, Bex, what should we do? Should we ban Bex, folks? Yeah. Lifetime ban for Bex for being an idiot. Bye, Bex. There we go. Sorted. Right, that's that. We troll away do the swatty. Can you all follow me, please, guys? Very, very important. Right. Now, who have we got here? Hard to believe you've never sinned. I know. It amazes me as well, Bob. But, you know, if I went to confession, I would just have to sit there. I used to joke that uh, don't get behind me at confession. Troll-faced, you need to put yourself directly to jail. You are a shocker. You must not think everybody has your lifestyle. There he goes. Right, there's troll face away. He does that. He goes around everybody's life. Trying to be funny. 
Can you say I'll unblock Sarah and Nays? Not if they've been naughty, Nevy. I wish I could get some Scottish plain bread here in Newmarket. Eddie, if I ever become very wealthy financially, we'll see if we can send you a loaf down. I wonder how quick we could get a loaf to Newmarket because there was one in my shop the other day and it was quite soft and quite fresh, but it was reduced to 48p. So that plus the postage, we could have got that down to you. Gavan, you're quite right. Trollface was a very sick person. He's gone now. What are your pronouns? You never, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns. That's their business. Shocking. Shocking. Now, uh, handsome, thank you. What's your favorite brand of ironing board? I think I like the Flatex. The Flatex is a good one, but actually, my father made our ironing board out of wood. It was beautiful too, fantastic. Nice piece of flat pine. Why have you got lippy on? I don't have lippy on, Trollface. Uh, oh, why am I talking to Trollface? He's gone. <laughs> Went a long time ago. Hello from Wales. Um, do you have a crush on anyone? Only if I, I, I fell against them by accident, I think. You know, I mean, I am... 18 stone of solid muscle. Dinky you do. I'll go and like all your videos, Scotty. Susan, that would be a gorgeous thing to do. Guys, let's see who's followed and who's liked. Now, come on. Follow me, follow me, follow me. First thing you should do when you come on. We need a lot more followers, guys. That's poor. And a lot more likes, please. So can we like everything? What are your pronouns? You never ask pronouns. Dreadful thing. Shushman, says Jamie. Hang on. Guys, can we be quiet? Jamie's trying to sleep. I said quiet. I said, Jamie, I've told them so there shouldn't be any more noise, son. Okay, okay. Who have we got here? Who sent me finger hearts? How beautiful is that? Excuse me, says XX Bop. What have you done, XX? Is it something flatulent? Opinion on a united Ireland. Bob, we touched on this in one of the uh, lives earlier. And I was saying it's not really up to Scotty McClure. I mean, everything that happens in Scotland, Scotty McClure speaks for the people of Scotland. I am officially recognized as the voice of Scotland, but I don't speak for Ireland officially. Now, if you had a united Ireland, would Dublin be happy to take on the costs from London and Belfast. That's what we've got to look at. You know, I dare say, King Billy is bad. You know, King Billy was a very, very bad man. And that's not being in any way this way or that. Are you a Marxist? Sister? What um, does a Marxist do? You'll need to explain more to a follower of Karl Marx. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Now, I remember you from Scott FM, Scotty. Scotty, have you frequented Creef Hydro? Many, many a time. In the days when it was a lovely, lovely, big old fashioned hotel. I, I don't know if it still is, but you used to get served from these huge big old sideboards from the Victorian days. Scott FM was brilliant, but Creef Hydro is an outstanding hotel. Hello, you're a Scottish Viking. I think I am. Guys, can you all follow me, please? We need followers like crazy. Follow me as if following was going out of fashion. Follow, follow, father. Now, how do you know all this? I know lots of things. Uh, so there you are. You speak very well. I thank you, naughty Viking. Can you tip your cap to a blinder? Yes, can you see that? So there you are. Um, Stephen says he's bald and not at all, Stephen. Does that look like baldness to you, that great big thick head of white hair, which I dye? I've got jet black hair and I dye it white, you see. There we are. You have sinned. When have I sinned, O'Neill? 
There we are. Uh, he sinned by blocking me. No, no, we had to block you, Neve. You were sinning by saying naughty things. Bonsoir de France, cher ami. Oui, oui, be wrong. Oui, welcome. Excellent, excellent. I said to you, bonsoir. Ça va, oui? Ça va très bien, d'accord. Écoute, mon ami, oui? Je m'appelle Scotty McClue. Je suis le professeur de français à le TikTok, à Scotchock McClue. Yes, dinky do. At New Market in Cambridge, dinky do. We love it. Ellen Gavra. Yes, crew guy. There we are. Did you not just say Neve? Yes, we said Neve. Can you tell us a joke? Tell you a joke? Oh, I don't know any jokes to speak of. I did throw away my old vacuum cleaner this week, and I shouted, See ya, sucker! So there we go. I'm Aberdonian, says Marvel. Right. Well, listen, I hope you're looking after your money. You have to watch newer days, I'll tell you that. I get Kern of Folk in here watching alive the next day. Uh, I have to say I like your cut. So there we are. Red live of the trolls. Yeah, they'll go. Don't worry. These are poor wee souls. Hello again from Hamburg. Wie geht's? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Uh, nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. There we go. Thank you for following everybody. Neveways 18 stone. Wow. So we got on the seesaw. It would just sit nicely in the middle. There we are. If you had Scotty McClure on one end and Neve on the other, it would just balance. Fantastic. What's your pronouns? Tasha, you never, ever ask enemy pronouns. So there we are. Not on here. I love how you deal with the trolls. Some are bad, though. Uh, they are very bad, Gavan. Very, very naughty, naughty people. But I think they spend their life losing, you see. They're effectively losers because they haven't got the confidence to come and say, Hi, Scotty, can I listen to you, please, and talk sense? You know, so there we are. My dad, Roderick, loved you on the radio. He just passed suddenly, nine days ago, age 63. I am so sorry to hear that. Bless him. R.I.P. Roderick. But remember, you knew him and he knew you. You can't really get better than that. Bless him, Roderick. Thank you. Uh, so there we go. Good for you. Hey, guys, we don't do the second names like that. So there we are. So dump all that right away. In fact, Jack the Lad, I think I'll have to dump you for that. Right, Jack the Lad's leaving us. Jack O'Lacko, boy. Jack O'Lacko's gone. Bye, bye. There we are. Fantastic. Now then, what's your opinion on the Great Potato Famine of 1840? Was it not, was it not 1841? So there you are. But uh, yes, dreadful. I mean, it was a blight on the potato crop and it failed. And we found later, hindsight's a great thing. I wouldn't mind a degree in it. We found later, of course, that um, if they'd managed to mix the breeds, the brands of Tetty, then they could have saved a lot of lives. Also, they could have got help like nowadays, there would be help instantly, but communications were very, very slow. So there you are. So a lot of things that England, uh, the English government were blamed for, um, wasn't actually intentional. Yep. So very important to remember that, guys, when we're looking at history. Fuju, you never ask about pronouns. That's not your business. I bet it's beautiful in Scotland. It's gorgeous. There's jack o -like gone for being an idiot. Mate, have you been on TikTok all day? I saw you in the morning. Well, you saw me in the morning and you saw me at night. Why does that constitute all day? There we are. I did pop up in the afternoon as well, though. Uh, so there we are. You're more talkative than a French. Je ne sais pas. There we go. Um, now, what does je ne sais pas mean in English? I don't know. There we go. Many northern clans are descended from Norsemen. Well, mine, mine is. I'm descended 
from an old man. So there we go. Um, now, who have we got here? Hi, from Bumur in Ayla. Hello, Ali from Bumur. Kamra ha'u ha'chemaha. Ha'chemache, I say to you. And koshi, esho, Ali. Oh, Ali. Ha, maha. <laughs> How are we? And uh, so there we are. And falchi, uh, falchi, kid mille falchi. Don TikTok agus skochoch makluch. Fantastic, dear, dear yarn now. Uh, one, I hope you are shayless, shayless. Uh, could you say hi to Billy? Of course, I could, Fion. There we are. It's good to listen to someone who is articulate and well-spoken. Naughty Viking. That's a very nice thing to say, and I'm very glad to hear it. Uh, who's that? For June. You never, ever ask about pronouns on here. We're all inclusive. I like history. Can we talk about Queen Victoria's interest rule? Of course we can. Yes, off you go. What do you want to know? You're so far behind in the comments. I can't be, am I? Can you say hello to Annabelle from Norway? Yes, I can. A very sad time. My great-great-granddad came to England in the 1840s. A lot of people did, absolutely. Uh, Max, you need to grow up. So there we are. Favorite author. So many favorite authors. So many favorite authors, I can tell you. I'm, I'm reading some great stuff at the moment, real stuff. Guys, you can have a listen to Scotty McClue's crime novel. If you go to YouTube and you put in Scotty McClue, deliver us from evil. But at the moment, I'm reading a lot of factual stuff by the historian Michael Fry. So there we are. Very interesting. Now, who have we got here? Oh, I'm just going to ban Dewey for being a disgrace to everyone. Absolute disgrace. Dewey, you're a disgrace. Be very ashamed of yourself. Right, there he goes. He's gone doing the swanee. Wonderful. Now then, the spring box, the greatest ever. You all right there, neighbor? I'm from Wales. Thank you, Joy. Uh, what for? I was born on St. Patrick's Day. Wonderful. Good for you. There we are. Maya Louise, you might as well go. You're an idiot as well. There we are, half wit. Good. That's fantastic. They've all gone. Now then, talk about Victoria's relationship with her 48 grandchildren as Europe's grandmother. Yes, indeed. She was indeed. There's a lovely picture of Lord Mountbatten. And he's being held by Queen Victoria. So there we are. And I think, was she his grandmother? Would that be right? Or his great-grandmother? There we are. No, we don't reveal anything on here, Sarah. Uh, Scotty, if you not got a home to go back to, it's past your bedtime. You're not getting any younger. Johnny boy, I may be 32. I've had a very, very tough life. But I think I can manage to hold on for a wee bit longer. Do you know what I mean? That sort of idea. There we go. What's your favorite brand of kitchen cupboards? I like the uh, Quick Shot. The Quick Shot's very good. Good evening, my friend, the Viva la France. La 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 la. There we go. What's all this? Do you support? This is not your normal thing. Are we going to ask that somewhere else? We are all inclusive on here. We never ask, do you support? We never ask, what's your pronouns? We never ask anything about someone's race, creed, color, background, religion. We're all inclusive. Capiche? Okay. Now, there we are. Ahoy, Captain! <laughs> Fantastic. I can speak some Hebrew. Go on then, Noah. Let's have a bit of Hebrew. We like that. What does it feel like to be Scotty McClure? Um, quite remarkable on TikTok, I have to say. There we are. Now, a shout out to my best friend. Yes, Dababi. We can have a shout out to your best friend. I'm from Latvia. Consola. 
Thank you from Latvia. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. There we are. Has everybody followed me? Thank you. Jesus loves you, says Nicole. You're 100% correct, Nicole. Has everybody followed me? Come on, let's check who's followed and who hasn't. I think some of you will not have followed. And that's just not good enough. No. We're very short on followers and on likes. So I would like every single person watching right now to please follow me without any ado. No questions asked. Man, did you used to go on Radio Hallam FM? I did. I was massive. There we are. Lord Mountbatten was the great grandson of Victoria. Uh, and he single-handedly shaped the UK. Yes, he did, Dickie Mountbatten. It was excellent. My father knew him. Scotty, how did you handle the big time in the 90s? Lots of hangers on. Johnny Boy, you know me. I am quite unfussed. So it's just not a problem. I wrote for all the newspapers. I was on national television. I was on several radio stations at one time. We used to, uh, you know, we used to network before it was even a thing. We put local stations together at night. I think we put nine stations together once and had millions listening. Absolutely huge. But, you know, it doesn't change me at the end of the day, as you can see. I'm very, very happy to pop up on TikTok and have a crack with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Guys, can you all please follow me? Every single body following, 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 following. Right, who's not following? Are you having a good Easter? I have. Yossi says, I won't quit. Good, Yossi. Very good for you, but don't spam, because that's a lifetime ban. We don't want to ban you. Legend, says Disco Pacino. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Scotty, be completely honest. Are you rich? I don't have any money, but I'm an incredibly rich man, because the only true wealth is life. So there you are. So I've only got what people give me on TikTok. There we are. Icon. I'm so proud of you, brother. So there you are. And remember, I lost my money to a fraudster about 12 years ago. There we are. So, you know, uh, what's your favorite takeaway, Scotty? Oh, I'll tell you what I did get. I got two pizzas uh, for the price of one. And I got some ice cream. And that was an absolute bargain. So there you are. Do you like whiskey? Well, I don't drink alcohol. Can you please say up the villa? Yes, up the villa, up the bungalow, up the flat, up the caravan. How did you lose your money? A fraudster. A fraudster took a load of money off me. The only bad man I've ever met, a con man. Yes. So there we are. Uh, what's your favorite band? Oh, I think it's got to be Jimmy Shand. Jimmy Shand and his band. You look handsome in the beige jumper. You say lovely, lovely things. Why do you not drink? Because, Bob, I do a lot of late night driving when I'm working on the radio. And uh, the police see a flash car traveling about at three in the morning. Like, aye, aye. What's he up to? Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? And they put the blues and twos on, and we end up having a chat. And they say, oh, I can't smell any drink off you. I say, well, that's good, because it has been seven years. So there we go. Can you say hi to Junior? He is a big fan. Yes, I did. Do you like Fife? I love Fife, Ken. So there we go. Absolutely love it. Uh, change your advert key, then. Do you like the wolf tones? Or have you never? Of course I've heard the wolf tones. Tones. I'm a big folk music fan, remember. Celtic or Rangers, go and watch them both play. Uh, can I have your bank details and sort code, madam? Numpty Heed, how are you? Should Scotland go independent? Well, economically, it would benefit Scotland no end. You ain't Scottish, says Callu. Okay, I'll take your word for it then. That shocked me, though. Can... Uh, Quit drinking on the 17th of January. Good, you don't miss it. I actually said to a doctor, are there any benefits 
uh, in alcohol. He went, no, absolutely none at all. He says, it acts as a social de-inhibitor. But apart from that, nothing. Love Jimmy Shand, the Bluebell Polka Arise. So Jimmy Shand, there's somebody, and I've never seen that before. There's somebody saying, vote conservative. I have never seen that before on a TikTok. How interesting. There's somebody saying vote Labour. There's somebody saying vote for the Greens. Somebody saying vote for the SNP. I think we're quite a balanced programme tonight. Hey, from Germany, from Bavaria, from the Bavarian Motorwerken BMW. One glass of red wine a day provides antioxidants that prevent cancer. Well... There we are. If that works for you, Bob, do you like Scotland? I love Scotland. There we go. Scotland's so beautiful. There's somebody wanting to vote for, oh, you're all saying vote and vote and vote and vote. Ban the people. There we are. They're talking about vote. <laughs> vote for Vikings. It's the largest super yacht in the world in Douglas Bay, uh, SY, is that South Yorkshire? A Hamilton yacht. How amazing impact. Uh, you can't, I don't think you'll have a super yacht in South Yorkshire. Have you ever been to Birmingham? If so, what did you think about it? Well, um, I think Birmingham, you know, uh, I was in the curry house and the waiter said, curry okay? I said, yeah, put us down for Frank Sinatra, my way. So there we are. Are you from Wales or from Ireland? Well, it's difficult to tell you, see, because I'm very Celtic. I would say to you, Yakida Nosda. And then from Ireland. Do you mean when you say Ireland, are you talking down the south of Ireland? See, I may have got a boat from Wales to Ireland. Did you think of that? So there we are. Who have we got here? Scotty, TikTok's a place for stupid, exaggerated acts. You're too smart and sophisticated for this. No, yeehaw, it's been very, very interesting. So, you know, I've enjoyed, apart from the dafties, and you're going to get that anywhere. Uh, it's in the Isle of Man. What is impact? So there you are. Your number one, says Noah. Have you ever been to Bolton? Aye, I know Bolton very well. Bolton. So there you are. Is it Bolton? Is Peter K from Bolton? I'm wondering, have I got that right? Uh, guys, can you all follow us, please? Did you ever go on the QE2? Sadly, no. But my mother went to see her being launched. What about that? Hmm. <clears throat> Guys, let's check if you've all been following. Has anybody followed us tonight? Hand up for followers, please, if you've been following. No, we're still very, very short on followers. And there's been almost no likes. I've got 8,965 likes. Nobody seems to have liked us tonight. And I've got 6,933 followers. That should be about 50, 60,000. So I don't understand. Have you ever been to Ireland? I know every blade of grass in Ireland, like the back of my hand. Oh, yes, the super yacht in Douglas in the Isle of Man. Yes, super yacht Hamilton. I've got you now, Impact. You should do forever in blue jeans for your next karaoke. MSN. That's a lovely one. Forever in blue jeans. Um, I'm off, brother. Good to see you again, brother. See you again soon. Gavan, you take care, brother. Dinky, do. Do you run? I do, Neve. Yes, absolutely. Have you ever been to Ochtertu? You've put Ochtertu. There we are. Ochtertu. Have you ever been to Ochen Sugar? Do you prefer English football or Scottish football? Well, I don't actually follow football, Red, so you've got the wrong man for that. PMSL says Tracy Brown. Can you sing? I can sing like a linty. What are you supping? I'm supping the Scottish water. Right impact. I think we've got the super yacht now. So there we go. I have to say your accent for Birmingham was not the best, but others were good. 
All right, naughty Viking. So there we are. I was just getting a bit hungry, so I went to the curry house. Uh, after lockdown, we should petition to bring Concord back, send you to the States for a show, MSN. That's one of my big regrets, that I was never on Concord. Have you ever seen a film called The Wild Geese? Richard Burton plays um, an, an army colonel who works as a mercenary. And uh, absolutely amazing I love Richard Burton's acting anyway. And he lands on Concord. And the representative of the guy he's going to see, the money, meets him and says, we thought uh, we'd keep your arrival here quiet. It took a bit of doing. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So there you are. What's he called now? Colonel... Um, it'll come back to me in a minute. The Wild Geese. And I would love to have been in Concord. I know there was an accident with a Concord, a tragic accident, but I don't think they should have grounded Concord. A lovely, lovely thing, because you could fly over in a morning. So there we go. Now, who we got here? Feeling a bit gallus. Good for you, crap. Scotty, can you say, hi, Jamie, you're brilliant, mate. I thank you. What's your favourite county in Ireland? Well, I quite like getting right down to the Ring of Kerry, right down to the bottom there. You know, very, very nice. Ever been to Dumfries? I know Dumfries very well. I used to work on border television. Tremendous stuff. Does Nessie exist? Well, I hope so. Do you watch any good TV shows? Stacks of them. Scotty, do you remember the old marine bar in Greenock? Last time I was there, the tall ship's the marine. Yes, I do, Johnny Boy, of course. Why is Wales better than Scotland? Because you'll find that if you're trying to equal a Scot, two Welshmen. So there we go. And also the male voice choirs. And I also think you go to chapel a lot more. You see? See? You know what I'm saying? Followers, guys. We're very short in followers. Plenty of viewers. Only a handful of followers. I don't understand it. So there we go. I'm just going to check again and see what's going on here. Nope. We still need more followers. Can everybody watching please follow? Very important. County Armagh, stand up. Absolutely. Can you get your musical instrument and play a tune? There we are. Absolute Bobby Dazzler. Amazing. Where did you get that from, Sarah? A Bobby Dazzler. There should be a tea bag in that water. Oh, yes. Make it look like a, a large drum. I remember preparing one of these for a film. There we are. A bit of water and a tea bag and more. And the, the, the director was going, how's that dram coming on? <laughs> Scotty, explain the picture behind you. You seem like an intellectual. That's me. One of my graduations uh, from the University of Glasgow, and that's Lord Reith the Labrador called after Lord Reith of the BBC. And I was presented with the portrait. There you are. Isn't that beautiful? So there we go. What's the worst place you've ever been to? I've never, ever been to a bad place. See, I toured solidly in the theatre for four years. So I visited almost everywhere in the UK. And I actually did some work in Toxteth during the riots in 1981. And the Toxteth people were just beautiful. Just beautiful. You know, and uh, I just got on so well with them, with all their struggle and strife. I live in Birmingham too, but I'm from Derbyshire. Have you ever been to Bakewell? Yeah, do tell me. And have you ever been to Overhaddon? What about that? There we go. Now, uh, who we got here? Lots and lots of people here. Wild Geese, I prefer the Dirty Dozen, actually. Kelly's Hero is a great watch. Crab, I'm interested. I like the Dirty Dozen immensely, but I'm a big fan of Wild Geese. 
you know, I think it's it's quite brilliantly done. What was the name of the colonel in Wild Geese? Do tell, I say. Colonel um, and the brilliant Stuart Granger. Stuart Granger, pardon me, would have made a fantastic Lord Mountbatten. Look at the similarities, guys, and see if I am right. Scotty, Tommy Cooper was the best in the 70s, just like that. Very funny man, very clever man. So sorry about what happened. So there we are. Live Aid was the first thing I studied on my journalism course two years ago. MSN, how fantastic. Right, I'm going to have to go. What are your pronouns? We never ask pronouns. So there we are. Can you please say happy birthday to Sarah? Oh, she's 50 today. What's your favorite wolf tone song? So many. Have you ever heard of the Bond Branks? If we only had old Ireland over here. If we only had uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you very much for that. What happened to Scott Lithgow? Margaret Thatcher sucked the life out of it. And I'm not even sure if there was proper compensation paid. The Lithgows were a lovely family. So were the Scots. That house I was telling you about earlier, that was Robert Lyons Scott, R.L. Scott. So there you are. Hi, how are you? Cool guy, dinky do. Nice to see you again. Scotty, I run a haggis sanctuary. Looking forward to our USA visitors next year. I'll bet you are. Right. Not over Haddon. I moved when I was 16. Right. There we are. Okay, guys, I am going to sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and a cheerio. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the live pop-up. There's a Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Stay safe and stay fabulous. Dinky do.